stood on an open field and spoke to brave men gathered before him. The soldiers stood in rows and rows, their eyes upon him, streaming tears for their country. Banners were dancing in the wind, all listened to their laird speak noble words. Upon my honor, we cannot let them take the castle of my father, the chieftain of this bonny land. He raised his gaze to the sky, and it suddenly seemed as if angels were standing by. He cried out, O oh God, we cannot die this day, and let the dark ones rule our land. Overfell them all, came a strange long silence, then lo, the sounds of distant beating wings, and a golden light came blazing from the west. Lord Bowen now stood with shining eyes, and commanded with a king's grace, O oh, brave men, do now lay down your swords, and go thee to thy good homes and families. Do this, I say, for I know we shall not perish in despair. This day, all felt great wonder, and marched lightly homeward, shouting with joy. For in the distance they saw bright angels, and heard their battle cry. The high and mighty had taken the side of bright that day.